Okay, strap yourselves in. Another set. For Christmas, my wife bought me a, uh, a second-hand jigsaw of some computer scientists. She was a bit worried there might be some pieces missing. It took a while, but I proved it was Turing complete. <laughs> you know the level now. Actually, of all the British scientists, Turing was definitely my favourite. In fact, I'd say he was de bomb. <laughs> when Sherlock Holmes talks about a three-pipe problem, does he mean one that has grep, org, sort, and unique? I'm old enough to remember when passing the output from one program into another was just a pipe dream. <laughs> I thought it was odd when I visited the doctor and he said that a spot of programming might be good for a migraine. And then I realised he said codeine. <laughs> Actually, my doctors would be a really dangerous C programmer. He thinks anything that's broken can be fixed with a cast. <laughs> I also visited the optician as I had uh, keyboards, printers and mice out the corner of my eye. I just realised it was peripheral vision. <laughs> I visited the dentist too. He said I had a scaling problem. I said, that's awkward. I haven't got any more capacity for more teeth. You know, I always thought Python was a much nicer looking language after 2.4. I guess that's when they brought the decorators in. It's good because there's a few Python people in. <laughs> is, a py is a standalone Python script known as a Jaffa because it contains no pips? C++ comes with complexity guarantees. If you use C++, it's guaranteed to be complex. Oh, we're getting there now, yeah. Do you know what? I have to think of myself as a pragmatist. If I get any compiler errors or warnings, I just practice them out. Whenever I see static used in multi-threaded code, it makes my hair stand on end. Always make version numbers palindromes, because then they'll be backwards compatible. If you want your code base to be healthy, stick to natural numbers. You know, whenever I try and spell octothorpe, I just make a hash of it. <laughs> if you're thinking about taking a career with uh, lots of self-improvement, I suggest going into topo topography. It's character building. Some people are like the char data type. They get promoted for no apparent reason. You know, my wife and I have been together for 25 years. I thought I'd get her a token ring. Can only get Ethernet these days. Have you noticed how McDonald's network cards all start FF, FF, FF? Is it because they like a Big Mac address? You can always tell when a telecoms engineer is running a marathon. They really struggle with the last mile. It's a cross-functional team. An angry bunch of Haskell programmers. <laughs> I've given up playing poker with functional programmers. All they ever do is fold. <laughs> I recently built a robotic arm to switch cartridges in my Atari console. I think it's innovative. In fact, I'd say it's a game changer. <laughs> if a self-driving car goes from Paris, from London to Paris to Berlin, and back to London, and no human notices as a driver, has it passed the Turing test? I think if we're going to make self-driving cars safe, we need to first solve the halting problem. Whenever I tighten the wheel nuts on the car, I could never work out whether to put the brace to the left or to the bottom. I'll let you think about that one. I was very disappointed with the second edition of Martin Fowler's refactoring book. The content was exactly the same, but the chapters were just in different order. <laughs> I started writing a novel about a 16-year-old who's disillusioned with the internet because he keeps having to prove he's not a robot, thinking of calling it Capture in the Rye. <laughs> if you deliver services via containers, does that make it Tupperware? I often find myself uncomfortable at meetups about dynamically typed languages. I'm not good at small talk. Recently, I had to give up trying to upload a picture of Marcel Marceau to a web server. I just kept getting a 415 unsupported mime type. Thank you. <laughs>